So I have a degree in animal science and I remember shearing a sheep in college, not that I thought I was ever going to do it again. And then after college, I had an opportunity to work for an educational farm where we got involved with llamas. And so as part of my job, I had a chance to shear the sheep and shear the llamas. And I just really fell in love with this beautiful creature. And so now that's what I do as my livelihood. I raise and breed and take care of llamas. So let's talk a little bit about why we shear llamas. So first and foremost, we're going to want to shear the llamas in order to keep them cool and happy and healthy for the summertime. All this fiber, that's like wearing a sweater and we want to get their winter coat off so that they can stay nice and cool. Secondly, we want to make sure we get all this beautiful fiber off so that we can harvest it and be able to turn it into great yarn for any of your crafting projects, whether it's knitting, weaving, crocheting, make wonderful things out of it. Okay, so llamas have fiber and sheep have wool. Both can be used for the same things such as knitting, weaving, crocheting, making sweaters, blankets, socks, anything you can think about. But they are actually two totally different things. So llama fiber is actually hypoallergenic. So somebody who might be allergic to wool can wear a sweater made from llama fiber. On the other hand, llama fiber is hollow, so it's lightweight, but it is warmer and it is stronger. But it's a lot like our hair, so it doesn't have bounce to it. And wool, on the other hand, has really, really great spring. So it adds a lot of bounce and what we call memory. So if you're making a sweater, it helps to give it shape. It also is a solid fiber, so it will also wear heavier. And then again, of course, people might have allergies too. So those are some differences about llama fiber and the wool that comes from sheep.